Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is Raj from Radical Tech Art, your process automation strategist. Today we have with us an industrial grade ultrasonic level transmitter with us. Today we will see the unboxing, some main specification and working of this ultrasonic level transmitter. But before jumping over to the product, first let us understand that what is ultrasonic level transmitter and what is its working principle. An ultrasonic level transmitter is a device used for non-contact level measurement of liquids and solid. It operates on the principle of ultrasonic sound waves. Here's how it typically works. Sound wave generation. The transmitter emits high frequency ultrasonic pulses typically in the range between 20 kHz to 200 kHz towards the surface of the material whose level is being measured. Reflection and Reception These pulses travel through the air until they hit the surface of the material. Upon hitting the surface, the sound waves are reflected back towards the transmitter. Time Measurement The transmitter calculates the time taken for the ultrasonic pulses to be reflected back to the sensor. This time measurement is based on the speed of the sound in the air. Level Calculation Using the known speed of sound, and the time taken for the pulses to return, the transmitter calculates the distance from the sensor to the material surface. Output The calculated level measurement is often converted into a standard signal output, such as 4 to 20 mAh or digital signals, that can be read by control system, displays, or data loggers. This method of level measurement is widely used due to its non-contact nature, which eliminates the need for direct contact with the material being measured, making it suitable for various industries like water treatment, chemicals, and food processing. Today, we have with us one of the ultrasonic level transmitter offered by Radical Descartes. Let's start with the unboxing first. So viewers, as we can see, the device come in the nice and sturdy box. As we open the box, we can see the manual first and below the manual we can see the device which is protected by form sheet. So this is all about the unboxing. The box contain its minimal and only consist of the product and the user manual. Now as we can see that product quality is very nice and sturdy and the outer cover of the device is made up of high industrial grade plastic. Some main feature of this devices are as follows. First, high quality transparent shell. Easy to view and dust proof waterproof design. Second is protective electrical interface. Made of ABS plastic with impact resistance and aging resistance. Third is temperature and low temperature resistance and long service life. Fourth is high quality ceiling ring. Coil shock proof protection is provided inside the installation which is settable and formed with strong overall ceiling. Fifth is chips imported from Germany. The measuring range is 0 to 15 meter and various forms can be selected. Sixth is high quality probe design. The full and close integrated probe is adapted which has good selling and protects the internal circuit. So this was all about the some existing features which are offered in the transmitter. Now let's see some product parameters. Specification chart can be seen on the screen right now. First, if we see the accuracy that this ultrasonic transmitter offers accuracy of plus or minus 0.5 percentage of full span, it has various options available in range like 0 to 5 meters, 0 to 10 meters or 0 to 15 meters. All these options can be selected as per the user preference. It offers wide range of working temperature between minus 20 to 60 degrees Celsius. It is typically Operated on 24 watt DC power supply, this transmitter offers variety of outputs like 4 to 20 milliamperes and customizable RS45 mode bus output. It also offers the relay output, but it is only available on request. For mechanical installation, it comes with G2 type threading, and with help of these threads, you can mount the device on the top of the tank whose liquid measurements are to be taken. So, this was all about some specification of the device. Next, let us see that what all parameters are given in this device, how we can actually operate this device. So viewers, before jumping over to the working, let us first understand some symbolic figures which will help us understand the device better. As you can see on the screen, these are the symbolic figures which you should keep in mind before using the device. First symbol is B, used for blind area. 
The blind area basically indicates the distance between maximum height of the liquid and the device sensor tape. For example, if your tank height is 10 meter, then it is recommended to leave 0.6 meter of space between sensor tip and the maximum level of the liquid. This distance has to be maintained in order to allow the ultrasonic sound waves travel flawlessly. Maximal is D, which basically indicates the empty space in tank between the sensor tip and the actual height of the liquid. Next, symbol is L, which indicates real-time liquid height. It is calculated by substituting empty space height from the total height of the tank. Next symbol is H, which indicates the total height of the tank. Next symbol is F, which indicates total liquid height, which can be measured after leaving space for blind area. So viewers, these are all symbolic figures which is to be kept in mind by installing and configuring the ultrasonic transducer. Now, Let's jump over to some controls which are available in this transmitter. As you can see, this level transmitter has four buttons on it. First one is set or written key. When the instrument is normal operation, press combination of set and OK key to enter the parameter settings menu. In this menu, the set or written key can be used to exit the menu or can be used to go to previous setting menu. Second is up and add key. In the menu, this key is used as the up key when the changing the data. This key is used as the addition key. At the same time, when changing the data, press set plus up key to move the cursor to the left side. Third one is down or subtract key. In the menu, this key is used as the down key. When the changing the data, this key is used as the subtraction key. And when the changing the data, you can press set plus down key to move the cursor to the right side. Fourth one is confirm or exit key. In the menu, this key is used as the confirmation key. Press combination when all data is changed. Set plus OK key to exit the setting screen. Let us now see that what all settings are available for the user in this label transmitter. So viewers, we can go to the setting menu by pressing set or OK key. After the entering the setting menu, we can see here four different parameter settings menu available. From all these parameter settings, user can access the very first parameter setting only, namely the user management parameter. All other parameters are for manufacturer purpose and they are of no use to the user. Now talking about the user parameter, then you can enter the parameter setting by pressing OK button. Here you will see some menu which shows settings such as user personality, communication management, output setting and calibration settings. In user personality, we have options like first, language. Here you can select between two given languages. Second, contrast. In this setting, you can adjust the screen contrast. Third one is backlight setting. In this setting, the instrument backlight can be selected to be bright or the backlight is lit when there is a key operation. Fourth one is screen selection. This device has two display modes available. We can select between the empty height or scale height. By default, the device comes with the scale height selected. Fifth one is current type. This transmitter has two current output types available 0 to 10 mA and 4 to 20 mA. So, this was all about parameters in user personality menu. Next menu is communication management menu, where a user set all modus communication protocol required to connect the level transmitter to user system. Next menu that is available in the output settings is here user can select the output range of current output, voltage output or if the user has selected the model with relay output, then they can set the set points on which they need to operate the relay. Last menu is calibration setting. Now, before jumping to the calibration setting, all the viewers should note that this is the first setting a user should do after installing the level transmitter. In this menu, we can see two options. First is liquid level set and second is height set. The height setting is consistent with the related to the liquid level setting function. Both are used for on-site calibration of liquid level. Only one of the two menu is required. Generally, 
the height setting is used to set the height from the probe transmitting surface to the bottom of the tank or pool under the test also known as the installation height setting liquid setting is used to set the actual liquid level value in the current tank or pool it is generally used when the installation height cannot be measured but the actual liquid level value can be obtained so this was all about all the parameter settings a user can set before setting to use this ultrasonic level transmitter now let's see that how actually the transmitter shows the level of the liquid so we was to demonstrate the process here we have customized and tried to replace the tank having actual height of 480 mm as we have discussed earlier the very first step is to ensure the distance between sensor tip and the bottom of the tank so as you can see the actual distance between the sensor tip and the bottom of our customized tank is 480 mm which we have already changed in the calibration setting so the dried up tank will show liquid level as 0 meters and soon as we start filling the tank the liquid level rises and it will show the actual liquid level present in the tank here we can see now that the actual liquid height shown in the device is matching the height that we are measuring manually an important note that users should keep in mind before the installing the device is that in the video just to show the actual measurements we have mounted the device like a shown as it is recommended to mount the device properly using the process connection and another thing that is very important is the distance between the transmitter and the pipe from which the water is flowing to avoid the variation it is recommended to keep the distance between water flow pipe and the distance as shown in the screen right now some other points that users should note are first the measured reference plane is the lower edge of the sensor second the upper limit of material level cannot enter the measurement blank area third when measuring the material level the feeding pod must be avoided fourth when the installed outdoors it is made to protect against the rain for the long time so this was all about the working of the ultrasonic level transmitter some industries where this transmitter can be used are as follows first one is water and wastewater treatment plants second is chemical processing plants third one is food and beverages industry fourth one is oil and gas industry fifth one is pharmaceutical industry sixth one is pulp and paper industry seventh is mining industry eighth is power generation industry ninth is environmental monitoring and tenth is manufacturing industry these are the just few examples the flexibility of ultrasonic label transmitter makes them suitable for any application where non-contact and reliable label measurement is required so this was all about the ultrasonic label transmitter offered by radical tech art hope you all like this video thank you so much for watching if you found this video very helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe our youtube channel see you all in my next video